Hello, this is Megan with the Climate Field View Customer Success Team. Getting the most out of your field's yield is important to you and to Field View. Our Field View Seed Script tool uses science algorithms to generate pre populated zones and density recommendations. In order to get the most value from our tool, there are some key steps you don't want to miss. Be sure your boundaries accurately represent your fields. Seed Scripts is a per acre purchase and uses satellite imagery captured per the boundaries of your field. Please make all boundary edits 48 hours prior to creating your Seed Scripts. This will allow plenty of time for your field health images to update after editing your boundary. Additionally, ensure you've enrolled your desired Seed Script fields in Pro through our Climate.com's Buy Portal. You'll know the Pro feature has been activated when there's a Pro tag to the right of your field name. In order to execute a FieldView seed script, your field will need one of the following. Two years of yield data, one must be corn, or three years of field health imagery. Additionally, your yield data must total at least 85% of your field's total boundaries. After verifying the crop history on your desired fields, select the prescriptions tab at the top of your climate.com screen. Be sure you have selected planting, corn, and advanced planting prescription. Seed scripts can only be created for corn. It's important to have familiarized yourself with your field's previous crop history, as our management zone analysis tool may require you to select what crop was planted. If you're unsure, try your best to select the correct crop, but don't get too caught up on this step. Additionally, you can remove outlier years of data from this page. You will find our recommendations for removing or keeping data layers by deselecting the checkbox to the left of the layer. Select Next. This is where you will enter your hybrid and other planting plan information. The most important part of this step is setting your target yield. This target yield will be included in your density recommendation calculation. Additionally, so will bear seed and trait tested hybrid information. To learn more, select Tested Hybrids. After all the information has been entered to the best of your knowledge, the next arrow will highlight in blue and you can proceed. Our script editor page is where you should spend the majority of your time experimenting with different rates and zones. Let's draw our attention to the slider bar in the upper right of the screen. This six zone density recommendation is what our system has generated as the target number of zones and rate to reach a 240 bushel per acre yield. However, the slider bar allows you to move towards a more aggressive or conservative target by moving the bar either right for more aggressive or left for more conservative. Don't worry about losing your original recommendation as it will save at the bottom of your screen and be notated as recommended. So will your other changes. Here you can see we've moved our slider bar to the right, in turn increasing population density. In this screen, We've left the slider bar at a more aggressive target, but lowered the number of zones. You want to make these target edits here before continuing, because after moving to the next page, any retroactive edits will not affect density recommendations and will only be changed if you change them manually. While we strongly believe in our science, we know there's nothing that can replace your local knowledge. Therefore, you can add, remove, or edit zones by using the zone editing tool in the upper right portion of the screen. Also, you can underlay different maps to unlock insights in your data. Here we've underlaid a Sergo soil test map. Lastly, if you'd like to change your density rate, you can do so by removing the recommendation and entering your own. After your seed script is complete, we will need to save and export. Do not select done without selecting save or you will lose the script entirely. You'll know it's safe to select Done once you've selected Save and see the green Success banner. After verifying your OEM, Monitor, Make, and Model, you will need to export your seed script in the required file format. Select the Export options and click into the field or select multiple if you have them. Click Download, choose Format, and select the file format you wish to display. Your file will be downloaded to your computer's download folder. For more information on importing prescriptions into your OEM display, please review our Knowledge Center or contact support. One last note. You may notice the first script you create for your field and season will be flagged as primary. Primary scripts cannot be deleted as it prevents accidental deletion while executing the script in the field. 
You can, however, create a new script and set it as the primary, therefore allowing you to delete the previously primary script. For further assistance, contact the Climate Support Team at 888-924-7475 via email at support at climate.com or Twitter at FieldViewHelp.